In this video, I'm going to go over how to implement the matrix multiplication algorithm in C. The matrix multiplication algorithm uses two input matrices, which you generally call A and B, to produce a new matrix, which we generally call C. The algorithm produces the matrix C by multiplying and adding together the elements of A and B in a specific way. The matrix multiplication algorithm is defined in this equation above, but it can be a little tricky to interpret. Basically, in order to calculate the value of the element in C at the ith row and jth column of C, we multiply the corresponding elements in the ith row of A and the jth column of B, and then we add them together. Now what this looks like as a practical matter, we can see in this example below. Here we have a matrix A and a matrix B. And you can see how we calculate the element of matrix C at row zero and column zero by multiplying the corresponding elements in the first row of A and the first column of B. And then we sum them together to get five. We follow this process to calculate the remaining elements of C. Now in order to perform matrix multiplication, the column dimension of A must be the same as the row dimension of B. Let's try to implement matrix multiplication in C now. So the first thing we're gonna do is define constant values for the dimensions of our matrices. So here I'll say number define M3, number define N4, and number define P3. And we'll actually use 2D arrays to represent our matrices. And we'll use the exact same data as in our example there. So next I'll declare a 2D array called A. So we'll say int A M N. So it's gonna be a three by four 2D array with three rows and four columns. And I'll give it the exact same data as our sample solution there. So I'll say two, one, zero, three, and one, zero, three, one, and two, one, three, zero. Then I'll make a 2D array called B. So I'll say int B, it's gonna have dimensions N by P. And again, I'll give it the same data as our sample solution. So I'll say two, one, 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 zero, zero, three, 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 and zero, two, two. So we've got our two input matrices defined using these two 2D arrays. We're gonna to have to use a 2D array to store the result as well. So here I'll say int C M P to store the result into this 2D array here, C. Now to actually implement the matrix multiplication algorithm, I'm gonna use a function. Just that way we can call this algorithm again and again to do more matrix multiplications if need be. So here I'll say void matrix mult int A M N int B N P and int C M P. And I'll make this a little bit bigger here. So what I've got here is a function called matrix mult, and it's gonna accept three 2D arrays as arguments. The first two are gonna be the input matrices. The third one is gonna be where we store the result. So we'll copy and paste this, and we'll provide a definition of the function down here. So now the way we're gonna implement this matrix multiplication algorithm is we're gonna have a loop inside a loop inside a loop. It's actually kind of rare to see that in programming because that kind of code is often inefficient. But in the case of matrix multiplication, it's more or less necessary to carry out the algorithm if we're gonna do standard matrix multiplication. So the first thing we're gonna do is have a loop nested inside a loop. And what those loops are gonna do is go over all of the indexes of C. So we wanna go over every row index of C and every column index of C. And we'll use I and J as counter variables for those things. So here I'll say for int I is equal to zero, I is less than M, I plus plus. And then for int J is equal to zero, J is less than P, J plus plus. So the first thing we've got is a loop that's gonna go over all of the column indexes of C. And that is gonna be done 
for all of the row indexes of C with this outer loop. Now the third loop, the innermost loop, is going to be responsible for carrying out this sequence of multiplications and additions required to compute the value of the matrix C at the ith row and jth column. So the first thing we're going to do is actually set C at ij equal to zero. Because then what we can do is after carrying out each multiplication and addition necessary to compute the value of C at the ith row and jth column, is we can just add it to C i j. So next we're going to have this inner loop and we'll take a counter variable k from zero up until n, incrementing by one each time. Now n is that common dimension of a and b. They both have this dimension n. a has n columns, b has n rows. And this is that sequence of multiplications here from one to n that we're going to do using this loop here. So here we'll say c i j plus equals a at i k times b at k j. And this is the implementation of this equation here where we're multiplying together the corresponding elements in the row of A and the column of B. And we're adding the result to C at IJ. So in this inner loop here, as we increment K from zero up until N by one, that's really the key to carrying out this algorithm because we index A using K and we index B using K just as in this equation here, where we go from one to two to n. So that's what's gonna help us carry out this multiplication of those corresponding elements of a and b. So let's actually try to use this function now. I'm just gonna fix c here, make it capital, like in our parameter there. So we'll call this function. Here I'll say matrix mult, and I'll give it a, b, and c as arguments. Now to actually see the results, we're gonna to have to print out the matrix C. So we'll do that as well. Here I'll say four int i is equal to zero, i is less than m, i plus plus, and then four int j is equal to zero, j is less than p, j plus plus. And then here I'll say printf percent four d space c at index i, j. And what I'm doing here is printing out an integer value into a four character width field, just to give an even spacing to the elements as we print them out in a 2D grid. And this will actually output the value at index i, j in our 2D array C. So this loop here is gonna print out each row of values. After I print out each row of values, I'm going to print out a new line, just so that way the next row of values starts on the next line and we get a nice 2D grid effect. So here I'll say printf slash n to add in that new line. So we'll save this and run it and we expect to get back the same result as our example data there. I'll add in that semicolon there and now I'll try to run it. Hopefully it works. It says build succeeded, so it should be working now. And I get here 588. 11, 12, 12, 14, 11, 11. And if we look at our sample solution here, it's exactly the same. And so that's how we can implement the matrix multiplication algorithm in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.